day that Britain voted for Brexit was a brilliant day for this country. I was shocked that people had believed the lies and the deception and that they thought that Brexit was a good future for our country. Stephen Edgington here from Politics UK. I'm out there campaigning because I think we need to continue with this historic vote. It's 52% of us voted for Brexit and the fact that loads of Remainers are out there trying to reverse it is really bad for democracy in this country. EU Supergirl's mission is to stop Brexit. I want to expose the lies told by the Leave campaign and I want to tell the British people the truth about the benefits that the EU brings to our lives. Brexit can and must and will be stopped. So I run the Politics UK YouTube channel. Why are you wearing the badge bollocks to Brexit today? Because I think Brexit is the worst disaster in pol policy terms this country has faced since appeasement of the 1930s. And it's all done by myself, uh, and I really enjoy making the videos and editing them. When the vote actually came in on the 23rd of June, it literally turned me into an activist overnight. This is my EU Supergirl outfit, which I'm known most famously for wearing. One of the first things that I did was I picked up my guitar and I wrote a protest song. And I went down to a rally outside Sheffield Town Hall and performed it. Brexit is the battleground where the honest and deceitful meet. So I'm having an absolute nightmare. I'm just trying to get some cash out of a cash machine to pay for a taxi to get from Leicester to Stamford because all the trains are cancelled. So I'm just about to interview Tom Harwood. I'm only about 15 minutes late out of the YouTube video. So I'm transferring at Amsterdam. I've got 10 minutes before the gate closes and I can't bloody find it. Literally having to do my makeup now because I had no warning from Channel 4 News. I'm running really late, which happens quite a lot of my interviews because I'm really, really busy at the moment, but hopefully I make it on time. Jesus, I hate travelling so much. What is your strategy now? I mean, you still think you can stop Brexit, don't you? Absolutely. Everything that I've done in the last two years has been crowdfunded. And that's kind of nice in the sense that it's come from the people, but it's also been really hard because I've had no external funding or support and things have often been done on a shoestring budget. My YouTube channel, it creates an income for me. The YouTube channel does pay for itself. I reward my backers by sending out books, badges and posters to thank them for supporting me and to help get the message out there. Today at 6, President Trump arrives in the UK for his first visit since taking office as thousands plan to protest against his policies. So we're deep in enemy territory here. I'm quite happy these people are out here protesting. It's up to them um, and fine. You know, they can waste their time if they want to. Labour MP Dr Rosanna Allen Pond. So we're heading to the Trump protest. I've got my Trump placard, which I made last night. We've got my Lock Them Up banner. So why are you here today? Uh, to stand up against Trump, the biggest uh, bigot that America's ever seen as a president. The biggest bigot? Yeah. Right, OK. So, so what's he said that makes you think he's the bigot? Well, his, his actions more so in terms of policy, in terms of banning Muslims from the country. More than 90% of Muslims can still go to the United States. So I don't see how it's, he's banned Muslims. Well, he has. OK, right. Okay. You're a nasty, conceited, self-serving, egotistical, racist, sexist, nationalist, orange queen! There's a lot of parallels between Brexit and Trump in terms of the nationalism, in terms of, you know, the Brexiteers trying to get a free trade deal with the US, which isn't going to happen, like Theresa May's hostile environment, and we need to mobilise more support against Brexit, so this is the perfect opportunity. Politics of Trump are the same politics of Brexit, so there's kind of division, hate, trade wars. It's... How is Brexit about trade wars? Well, it's, kind of, it's, it's about trade, isn't it? It's well, kind of... Isn't it about getting new free trade deals around the world? Uh, yeah, we can get trade deals around the world at the moment. But... No, we can't. The EU does that. 
We, 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 still, we, we can still get a trade though. We, we trade with Australia, we trade with New Zealand. What do you think? We do trade, but we don't have trade deals. It's time to take out the political garbage because they all belong in the dump. I've actually got a sunburn mark from the bollocks to Brexit sticker and bollocks to Trump sticker I was wearing yesterday. Um, uh, and I'm in South Kensington because I actually stayed last night with this lovely couple that um, we met after the um, Trump protest yesterday in the bar. I needed somewhere to stay. We were looking for a cheap hotel, but they said, look, we've got a spare room, so why don't you just come and kick with us? So that was amazing. So after my Trump video went up, I got a job in Westminster um, as a journalist for a website, and I'm absolutely loving it. It's so much fun. I'm here to put the record straight about Brexit, and it's absolutely brilliant. My YouTube channel has been demonetized. Every single one of my videos, all of the adverts have been taken off. So basically, I haven't been making any money for the last week and a bit, and won't be able to for a while. YouTube has said that I've stolen someone else's video, which is totally untrue. I mean, I pay. I even pay to get my own music sorted out for one of my recent videos, because I don't want to use copyright. And I do think this is partly because I'm a right-wing channel. My friend dragged me to the NHS walk-in centre last night because um, I've been ill all week. And um, they gave me some antibiotics, which I've been taking, but um, I was having chest pains last night. So she got the GP to phone me, um, and it could be a side effect of the medication, or it could just be anxiety. Um, so this is like six weeks of constantly travelling around, couch surfing, stress, catching up with me. And my priority is trying to stop Brexit, but um, at the end of the day, a broken super goal is not much use saving the UK. <sighs> so my YouTube channel is back on, that's the great news. Even better news, my A-level results. I got two A-stars and an A, which is brilliant. And also I'm going to carry on campaigning in Westminster. I've had enough of people, Remainers, saying we need a second referendum. I think that's a terrible idea for British democracy. So I'm going to carry on, hopefully, in Westminster, working as a journalist, carry on campaigning about Brexit to keep us on this brilliant path. I get to visit some amazing places doing all this campaigning and meet some amazing people and do some amazing things. And at times it can be crazy and it's definitely worth all the effort for everything that we've achieved and all the opportunities that I've had. On a flag of blue.